consider today greatest challenges for a cinematographer? Well, you know, I was really very happy and very lucky to born in, in, in my age because uh, I was able to witness the kind of evolution that the cinema made from 1940 to 2010, 2015, uh, which was an incredible excursion, incredible. Uh, all the European cinema, particularly in the 50, in the 60, the 70, the 80, together with the American um, film industry, they made an incredible evolution from uh, the use of fantastic black and white, uh, or beginning of color, thinking what they done in 1939, uh, Citizen Kane in on one side, had gone with the wind on the other side. I mean, at that time, they made a, a very clear stamp of what could be the cinematography. They, uh, for many years later, um, they were considered color uh, from because there was the push of some technician that said that maybe color is not can re, cannot we cannot record color in in shade in, in shadows. So they were thinking that you cannot do a, a dramatic film in color; but have to be done in black and white, and uh, color is only for western. Uh, musical or comedy, something like that, where everything is on the flat. Major mistake, because part of the day cancel the dialogue between two different elements. So practically full light is almost no light, practically. I think that uh, uh, even if we have the, the great example of, one, of Gone with the Wind, Gone, Gone with the Wind was, was able to do, particularly with that kind of uh, level of uh, technology at the time, making such movie that, that you can see this classic, spectacular, dramatic, uh, and so on. You can have all the, 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 the tonality inside. Uh, later, in the 50s, 60s, particularly in the United States, it was completely everything flat. It there was, was a kind of stop of, of expression in color. Uh, only, I say, through my age, like um, from Hungary, uh, Vimo <coughs> Zygmunt, Laszlo Kovac, I, myself, Luciano Tovoli from Italy, Sven Nyquist from uh, Sweden, uh, Billy Williams from um, England. Those kind of generations started to use color in a dramatic way as well. The conformist, uh, <coughs> Macabre, Mrs. Ma Miller, Ma uh, uh, so on, so on, so on. Uh, we, 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 we were able to really change the language of image at the moment. And, and that was mainly European, <coughs> mainly. Uh, there was a kind of revolution at the, the moment that uh, in colors cinematography that came because we were able to use more than no technical knowledge but cultural knowledge. And so practically, born at that time, I was born with the, the same generation of Bernardo Bertolucci, Marco Bellocchio, Liliana Cavani, uh, Fratelli Taviani in Italy, um, Luca Ronconi, many, many, many directors. Um, Giuliano Montaldo, so those are kind of directors that I work with at that time. Eh? And they practically they mm, teach me to search for every single movie a specific look. There was no some kind of cinematography that was uh, professionally uh, even. There's no existing in our mm, concept those kind of things. So uh, every movie you have to look for a specific look, specific style, specific look. And that was an incredible lesson through for many, many years. What's the most <coughs> demanding challenges today? To be in front of cinematographer, to because be profession has changed. Uh, to be not only a technician. Technology today, those kind of camera, the kind of, of steel camera that today you have in, in digital, most of them are automatic. They, they give an automatic exposure, an automatic focus, and so on. Uh, practically, in school, you don't learn any longer. Think, what is sensitivity? Then nobody knows. Mm -hmm. What is uh, all the the, 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 the process of chemistry? Uh, all the, um, those kind of uh, uh, or chance practically are lost completely. Going through um, the kind of, of knowledge that Simone today has in, in digital, in electronic, but this is not sufficient. Because tomorrow, today, um, we see on the set and images. At the same time that we are uh, thinking of those kind of images, how we can record it. So practically we see our own thought at the same time. 
you put the camera, you see what you're thinking. So what is the main difference? Before, the cinematographer was supposed to be, not necessarily was real, but supposed to be the only one on the set. That there was knowing how the image looked like the day after, or two days after, or one week later, depending on how far you are from the laboratory. Because they have the experience, and they have the knowledge, and so on. Nobody else. Today, everybody can see an image. And they see in color, and in high definition. So what is our chance to really control those kind of images? Knowing the meaning of light. Knowing the meaning of every single uh, element through his symbology, through his physiology, to his uh, dramaturgy, the different color can give it to us, given not only to our eyes, but to our body. We change the emotion in front to a red screen or green or blue screen. So this is a kind of verbal language, the, uh, not only visual language. So you have to, like a writer is using words to transfer emotion, like a musician using notes, we're using uh, the, the knowledge of, of light, shadows, and colors. And we can transfer emotion in this way. So today, you don't have to be only a technician, but you have to be knowledgeable about the meaning of the visual art. You have to know the symbology, the dramaturgy, the, the physiology. Mm -hmm.